Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to walk you through the new calendar experience available in Microsoft Teams. Microsoft is rolling out gradually this new app that got refreshed. So the same web app is now embedded in Microsoft Teams for Windows and Mac. You are going to have a unified experience, so you are going to enjoy the same experience that you have using the calendar in the new Outlook in Teams as well. Moreover, in Teams you have like a plus additional functionalities like uh, the drop down to set the right event that you want, the new Meet Now button, and and then stay tuned and stick around, I'll show you and I'll talk about you more. All right, let's get started, let's go. There we go in uh, Microsoft Teams. So let's start to click on the button Calendar so I can show you how you can easily switch in the new calendar experience. So you have two toggle button. The first one is next to the new meeting and here it's pretty visible. Moreover, if you click on the ellipsis button on top, you are going to see this toggle button in the panel as well. So let's say that I'm ready to switch to the new calendar experience. So let's hit the toggle button. And now what I have here is the basically the Outlook calendar experience. It's the same calendar rendered here in the calendar app of Microsoft Teams. That's it, same web app. And what you have like a plus comparing it to Outlook is that you have some extra function related to Meet Now and Join with an ID. Next uh, to this icon on the left, you have another panel and this gives you great flexibility in uh, selecting the right view of this calendar and moreover you can even set the day and this is very very flexible because now you can decide to have one day two day or three days displayed here in uh, in the calendar on the left pane it's pretty easy using this uh, navigator jump on the week or on the day that you want and here just below you can add uh, additional calendars using the great experience that you have in Outlook by comparing calendar or by creating a split view, for example. Now, clicking again on the ellipsis button, I can, of course, filter appointments, meetings, categories. I can do a lot here or in-person meeting, for example. I can share my calendar. I can print this calendar. Moreover, I can open directly the settings here. I can say what is the start day of the week. I can uh, configure uh, weather events from email. So this is the same user experience that we have in Outlook for the web. And this is also the new Outlook. Moreover, what you can set here, of course, is the classic uh, Teams experience by creating a new event, channel meeting, webinar, town hall or virtual appointment. So let's say that we are ready to create a new event and by clicking here the new event experience the same that we have seen and use it to work in Outlook and checking the Teams meeting now I can say for example marketing campaign brainstorm and then let's invite a couple of colleagues Adele Evans and let's add also another one which is this all right so you have the schedule assistant that will drive you and help you in selecting the best time for everyone for the meeting let's go back and down below, very important, you have the classic uh, loop experience by adding an agenda or by adding the meeting notes or the follow-up tasks. And 
takes the, the name of the meeting, of course. What else? Meeting options. This is also very important because you want to set up the options of this meeting. You can do in this experience as well. And when you are ready, of course, you can click on the button send and this is now scheduled. So when you want to open the chat, this is something that at the first glance could be missing. So there's no chat experience like in the uh, previous experience of the calendar in uh, Microsoft Teams. So how I can open the chat? Sometimes it's very useful, open the chat to drop a question or drop just the agenda for the next meeting. So maybe you want to inform the meeting participants, but there's no way to do that, apparently. But if you right click on the meeting, you are going to see chat with participants and this will drop you in the chat in the new chat experience and here you are going to see now the meeting chat for for this event now going back again so clicking again with the right button you can of course join immediately from here the meeting you can copy the meeting link charm you can add another icon and then you have other other configuration that you can apply. So another important thing to consider is that you can, of course, by left clicking on the on the icon, you can re-edit or re-cancel this, uh, this event. At the very top, let me change again the UI and let me set work week. So we're going to have five days of the week. So here on the left, you have the navigator, calendar navigator, but you can also remove this if you don't want to see just by drag the, the line, the vertical line on the left, so you can have full screen mode of your calendar. But I was telling you that you have now here on top the icon of the hybrid experience in nowadays when you work so you can set if you want to work on uh, remotely or if you are having a for example home office or you can say when you are in office so here i am in office for example today and tomorrow i'm going to work remotely and i can change this whenever i want and this is why Microsoft is bringing this new experience. Also because Microsoft Places is coming and this will help organization in configuring properly the participation in the office or and selecting when the job will be done on in office or remotely. So, and now here I have now this experience by selecting the drop down. I can say, for example, I'm out of office or I'm going to work this day remotely or I'll be on office. I can set the day and using Microsoft Places, then I can say even the desk where I will be available for my colleague. Now, selecting the setting button. I'm going to have the same experience in configuring my week, my standard and default week. So I can set where I'm in the office normally in the week and the time range. Last thing that I would like to mention here is that you can still opt out from this feature by going in the ellipses button and then disabling this toggle button. You can go back and fall back on the previous calendar experience if you want. The first time that you do this, you have to provide a feedback, but for the other, other times, it's no longer necessary at a feedback. And then you can, of course, opt in again. What do you think about this new calendar experience? Are you going to use it immediately? Let me know in the comment down below. If you prefer the, this one or the previous calendar experience, and if you find this video helpful, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.